Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a Cancalana hair crochet tutorial. However, it's with a twist, it's with the invisible knot, and it's short and I will save the other little twist for the video. So I will see you right back here in literally three minutes. So let's get started. I'm so sorry about my voice, I've lost it, but that's not going to affect me telling you about how good this hair is. So I've used three different colours. I'm using the 27, the colour 4 and the colour 1B. The 1B is the darkest one um and then we've got the four which is like a chocolate and then i had some leftover hair from when i attempted to dye the cankle on hair if you haven't seen that video click on the link above after this video to go and check it out but anyway so i had um that half hair left so i was gonna try to use it and not just waste it um <coughs> So yeah, so that's all I'm using. Um, technically, I'm gonna be cutting all of them in half. So technically, it's actually four packs, um, but it's two packs. So yeah. So I'm just gonna cut the black one first in half. And um, last time I did this, I used four or three, I think, packs of hair without cutting anything in half so technically as i said this doubles up as four and here's the brown as you can see it's a proper chocolate brown which i love i wish um we had more colors in the uk but we don't hence why i try to dye the hair um so that's everything split in half um so everything is now two each and i've also split the blonde half in half purely because it's too bright and I really 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 don't want too much popping out because it's such a strong bright blonde so I'm going to now mix some of the brown some of the black and some of the blonde together for the back um, so it's not too obvious um, even with all my mixing that blonde is just so blonde and I don't really do color so I don't know if I'll be trying this again because ooh, if I felt like I looked like it looked like a raccoon you know like a raccoon so I'm just gonna use uh, finish those off at the back but I'm not going to you know put it in the front I was gonna put it in the front but it just looked too bright so I'm just gonna stick to mixing the rest of the black and the brown and just put aside the yellow because it's never been blonde to me it's yellow so this is my braid pattern I have really thick hair so I'm really struggling to find the best braid pattern for me and even as I'm talking to you right now my hair is so thick I'm so unhappy with the braid it looks so untidy it looks so bulky but my hair is so thick I don't know what else to do so the next time I do this crochet hair I will try a different technique this is the second braid I'm doing at the back um, different this is the second type of braid I'm doing when I'm doing my own crochet hair um, but I definitely don't prefer this one because it's just the circle is just way too bulky at the back so we're going to be using the invisible knot all throughout the hair because um, we're going to be using the invisible knot all throughout the hair because it's just the best technique um, I find anyway the hair lasts longer um, it doesn't the strands don't pull out um, it just it just lasts longer basically so that's what I'm gonna do throughout my hair round the front round the back we're using the crochet sorry we're using the invisible knot technique all around and it's super easy like once you get the hang of the crochet um, of the knot it's so easy for you to just keep going like I don't even remember how to do those other knots anymore because I just prefer this one it lasts longer in your hair but if you would like to see how I achieve the other knots please go and click on my other cankle on hair video which I will leave a link to um, that has a series of different knots that you can try out for your hair because this hair is so silky I recommend using just the invisible knot but if you're using kinky hair or um, all the other you know more tougher um, hair then yes you can probably try doing the tree knot or just the normal knot but for this hair because it is a bit slippery I just recommend you do the invisible knot as you can see as I'm coming closer to the front 
um, the strands of the hair is getting tinier and tinier because I want to make it look as natural as possible and I'm just putting it through the latch taking a strand putting it halfway through and pulling it through again and that's how I'm accomplishing this look now I'm just looking around to see if there's any spots I've missed or anywhere where there's still a large braid that I haven't crocheted and I'm just looking around and trying to fill all the gaps in and trying to make it look as natural as possible so that's all I'm doing here I'm just feeling my way through if I can see any gaps that need you know more hair extension I'm putting it in just to close it off and you know bring the braids um, bring the extensions as close to the front as possible to help it look as natural as possible obviously there's no way my baby hairs are going they they just they, they they're not braiding but you get the gist I'm just trying to make sure I fill up as many spaces as possible so this is the finished look excuse the crazy lady hair I know it looks mad right now it's just because it's short I'm just um, trying to define the part in because it's so thick and another thing I forgot to mention is I did the braids so close together because I wanted the part ins. I wanted it to be really hard to define um, you know that it was crochet so I'm straightening the hair as you saw in my last video skip the blow drying stage is too much hassle it doesn't even do you any favors and as you can see the hair dry the hair straightener has done a lot more wonders um, than the than the blow dryer would have done and I'm just calming it down to be honest I thought I wanted this hair straight um, but as time went on and as I did the trimming and the chopping I really wasn't liking it straight um, the shape was too choppy I didn't have a blade um, and I really wasn't too pleased with how choppy everything looked it just didn't it, it just looked heavy and I wasn't happy with that heavy look so um, I tried something a little different so I've decided to curl the hair with rollers I'm gonna dip it in hot water um, if you would like to see how I curl cancalon hair please go on my channel or click on the link and you will see a perfect example of how I curl cankle on hair but that's what I'm gonna do with this because I just feel like it needs more volume so I've just dipped in hot water um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pin it down um, the curls down so it's easier for me to sleep and I'm gonna sleep on it and let it dry um, as I'm asleep and fingers crossed by the time I wake up everything would have been dried up and it would just be ready for me to style so I've woken up and everything has dried and I'm just taking out the bobby pins um, and I'm ready to style in with this Aussie color um, oil one pump I love Aussie um, mousses oils everything is just not greasy which I love so yeah so <laughs> that is the finished look I've just spruced up my hand and just figuring out where I want the part in figuring out how I want the curls to um, to form I hope you guys have liked this so guys what did you think like super easy and super quick right um obviously the twist was me curling it you guys this hair I've already done a review I've done another video on it before and I'm doing it again because I'm like god the things you can do with this hair so yeah you can curl it you can straighten it you can blow dry it you can dip it in hot water which is what I did with those rollers you could cut it you could do anything to it it's so versatile it's so creative it feels like human hair oh my god guys if you guys are looking for your new summer look it's spring now if you want something short if you want something snazzy go and try out this look promises I'm telling you you're gonna look bomb diggity I get so passionate about this because I love the hair so much um, and I just love the different things I can do with it and I like the fact that I can play around with it and get different looks um, and actually I have another video that will be coming out soon after this after I take out this one with a different type of cankle on hair but it's just 
yeah so um i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you guys will give it a go um what was i gonna say um if you haven't seen my um kind of long hair video the long the crochet braids it's long um head over to my channel I'll, i will link a link at the top here so you can go and watch it because um that one actually has three different crochet styles i mean techniques so it's not just the invisible knot whereas this hairstyle is just the invi invisible knot and with that one I, I did leave out whereas with this one i haven't left anything out so if you're if you know you want to give different styles a go go and check it out you're gonna love it um and also before i go if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment because i love hearing what you guys think share with anybody you think will enjoy it and share with anyone who's been kind of trying to accomplish this look but doesn't know where to start and thirdly if you're not a subscriber already can you please hit the subscribe button you know you've been watching me for a while you know you like my channel you know you like my hairstyles you know you like me so i'm gonna wait i'll just wait for like two seconds and i'm just gonna it only takes like okay five seconds I'm gonna wait for five seconds and then I'm gonna let you subscribe and then we're gonna keep talking again. I guess I should have been counting, I think that was five seconds. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As I said, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoy you like this look. Um, if you would like me to do more things with this hair or different types of hair, please let me know and I will be the first on the queue to be doing it because I just love mixing things up a little. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys and I love hearing your feedback and I love hearing your compliments. So if you really enjoyed this video, as I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below because I love to hear that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's out Tuesday, I'm going to work, so I'm going to head off and I will catch you guys later.